Okay, now the system is installed. Okay, now we have to type the root password. I'm just using a simple one, obviously. I don't want to do the same on the production server. It says it's too simple, but I don't care. I'm just ignore it. Yes, uh, yeah. Yeah, ignore completely. Okay, set up the host name. I will use node one. Okay, I will disable the firewall. I don't want to use that one. Right now it's disabled. And okay, everything. Leave everything in default. Next. Okay, I don't want to test the internet connection at this time. Let's create a certificate. I'm storing my usernames and password on the etc password file. Okay, let's create a demo user. same pop-up to simple Clone the settings to auto jazz. Basically, the installation is completed. Now we have to make some basic changes. For example, I want to configure the network manually. Uh, after that, I will stop the server and make a copy for the second node. Before that, I'm just checking 
the network settings on my host OS. Uh, this is this subnet here is the network is the network translation and this one here is the host only. I will use for this server 172.16.87.101 for the first node. So I'm going to the network config. Modifying this file here. First of all, I will move this config file to because I don't like this format, and I just uh, renaming it to ifcfg. ETH nil and modify it. Okay, I don't want to use DHCP. Broadcast IP address. Okay, the IP address, as I said previously, 172.16.87.101. Okay, and leave everything in default. Okay, EF down, ETH now. Right, let's modify the default gateway. So, create a file called uh, Roots and set up the default gateway, which is 172.16.87.1, and this is the default and optional parameters none. Okay, let's start the network. Yeah, I have config. Okay, everything looks fine. Let's try it. SSH root at uh, 172.16.87.101. Here you go. Thanks for watching me, guys. Uh, we will continue with the second node. Cheers, bye.